with Dr. Chat with Little Critters, and we have a beautiful Orpington hen today. Orpington chickens are large, big-bodied birds known as very prolific egg layers. They can struggle a bit in Arizona with the heat because they're so big-bodied, they get otter much easier than some of the smaller bantam. But this little girl was brought in because she was very well-loved by her mom, and she has stopped eating and for a couple weeks now has been hatching only soft-shelled eggs. And she also has a very large fluid-filled crop. So if you look at my hand, the entire crop is filling my hand all the way from here down and is full of fluid and some intestines some debris. And if you look at her stance, her tail is down. She's just acting kind of droopy and like she doesn't feel good and has had a reduction in her appetite as well. And so one of the concerns is reproductive disease with hens, particularly if she's hatching some abnormal eggs. And with soft-shelled eggs in particular, we worry about inflammation in the oviduct or the assembly line of egg production, where it's not working correctly and may not be calcified those eggs. Inflammation or infection in the oviduct will often cause this, as well as the possibility of a telomic or internal inflammation. Ectophagos are one cause of that. One of the things we're worried about in her is potential neutritis. Many of my birds that I see that lay ectopic eggs will have a swollen abdomen because they have fluid or effusion down here under their cloaca in their belly. She doesn't have that on physical exam, so it doesn't appear to be causing effusion or fluid at this point. So we did get some x-rays on her. We also have some labs pending. So we have a CBC to look at her red and white blood cell count and see if we have systemic inflammation there as well as an organ tumor. You can see she's a very good girl, so we're trying hard to get her back on the mend. But we did have some surprises on the x-ray, so we're going to show you that in just a minute here. We're at Radiology now, and we're looking at Mabel's x-rays. And again, there were some surprise findings, which interestingly we often see in chickens and tortoises as well. If we look at the screen now, this is a high-definition monitor. This is digital radiography. And you'll see that we definitely have ingested some rocks. This is her crop, which is greatly enlarged, has mostly fluid and some gravel in it. But the interesting finding is down here in her gizzard or her ventriculus. And if we go to a side view, we're going to get a little better look at this area. On this view, again, you can see the crop here. Her head is up here, wings here, tail, little nubbin, legs, and we have this interesting area. And you can see that she's been eating some trues and also some nuts. This is very common in chickens. They'll pick up pretty much anything that's shiny or sparkly, and this is lodged in the ventriculus, which we would call the gizzard or the large grinding stomach. It's a very thick, walled, tough organ and can be there for a great period of time. Things get in the gizzard and tend to stay there. It is very possible that over time she'll decay or degrade these and try to break them down. One of the things we worry about is the potential of zinc plating on here and zinc toxicity. It is probably a low risk, but that is a significant risk. For other metal foreign bodies, we worry about lead toxicity being leached into the systemic circulation. Obviously, there's a risk of puncture, but again, this is a very thick, walled, strong, muscular organ, so it's probably a lower risk, but it is on our radar because that could cause more systemic inflammation and problems for her. You can see the opposite view here where you can see a screw there very readily, and then you can see that she ate some nuts and trues as well as rock and some other metal density in there. That's Mabel, a very common chicken issue. So if you have chickens, it's very important to make sure the yard is very clean, that we don't have metal scraps and fragments laying around because they do like shiny, sparkly things in the little intestines.